Hey, this is Kevin. Um, I'm just going to show you what's actually inside of a Harley Davidson fork. This is actually off of a um, Dyna, but it's exactly the same thing on a Touring model, whether it be a 2022 or a 2014 or a 2000. This is just basically the same parts are inside these forks. So we're just going to go ahead and disassemble this one and actually show you what's in there. Tool on here to grip the fork so we don't damage the lower leg. Now, you see my vise has aluminum jaws on it. I'm gonna grip that tube and I'm gonna squeeze it with my vise. Now, it's not damaging the tube because I've got it in aluminum jaws. Now we can go ahead and, because this spring in here is actually preloaded pretty healthy. And uh, if you don't grip this like this and control that spring, it'll make you look like a hillbilly and knock your teeth out. So by gripping that spring, I'm squeezing the spring against the side walls of that upper tube. Now I'm going to release this slowly. I can feel the lower leg coming up. And there we go. So this is what's inside this front fork. So far, spring, right? <laughs> Okay, so I just want to inform you guys of what's actually inside your front forks. So, we have your lower leg, there's nothing inside this. Uh, here's your upper fork tube. This is actually what they call, a, I guess, a valve stem. And all it is is a tube with holes drilled in it, right? That's, that's all it is. And your top out spring goes over that. That goes into your upper tube. It's coming down the bottom here. Right, sticks out the bottom. Hydraulic cup goes on that. This is to help stop you from bottoming out with uh, a hydraulic uh, situation when there's hydraulics with because there's oil inside the fork. And then that goes inside the tube. That all goes together. The seal goes back in. Spring. Preload spacer. Once I have the bolt tight, they wouldn't come apart. And then you go ahead and then this is pressurized and preloaded and screw the cap on that's all that's in these forks so that's no control over your rebound honestly no no rebound control very very little very little compression control um, and that's why your bike wobbles at 80 miles an hour if it's a diner or if it's a bagger it rides feels super soft in the front um, and becomes very unstable in a corner whether it be 80 or 100 or 110, at some point it's going to get very unstable at high speeds for sure. Um, but it just doesn't ride good at low speeds. And so when you have really good suspension like we're talking about, the 32 mil from Big Bear, we're talking about really high quality suspension. It's the highest quality suspension you can actually buy. Um, it smokes all the other brands except Olin's. Olin's is the world leader in suspension. Uh, our cartridge uh, is designed very much like theirs. Works exactly the same way. The adjustments are the same. Um, we're very proud of that. And you need good suspension whether you just ride the speed limit because you're going to have comfort, you're going to have stability, and you're going to be able to stop quick. Having good suspension is what enables you to stop at least a third shorter, 30% shorter stopping distance because you actually have traction between your tire and the road surface. It's super important. Uh, this is Having great suspension doesn't mean you go out there and tear it up and ride a million miles an hour. It's not about that. It's about ride quality, it's about chassis stability, and it's about stopping power. And that's the things you gain out of suspension.